Hey guys, this is something I wanted to share with you really quickly. It's a perspective tool that I found online and it's amazing. So the readme file says, uh, the readme file mentions Sergei Kritsky. I believe he was the one who created the, the tool, which is awesome. Great job, Sergei. Uh, and the way you install it is just to follow the instructions here in the folder. You copy the content to plugins, panels, and then restart Photoshop. So, uh, yeah, this is the content here. This is what you have to copy. And you just go to program files, Adobe, Photoshop, and uh, the other folders there. Uh, okay. So once you have it installed, you go to window extensions, perspective tool here. And uh, this little window will pop up for you. So what you can see here is a 3D base I made in Google SketchUp to show you um, how this works. And we are going to extract the perspective from uh, this drawing here. It's not perfect, but I think you will get the idea behind uh, the tool. So you'll understand how it works. Uh, you can use this on uh, photos you took if you want to do a mate painting over them or you want to use them in a mate painting. You can define your uh, perspective base with this tool. It's like really, really useful. It's really awesome and it works with a click of a button. So you just select the pen tool or any kind of path tool you want because this tool works with paths. Uh, let's define the Y axis first. So this is going to be the Y axis. Here. And you draw two paths with the uh, pen tool. So one, two, you hit create uh, and the frequency modifier pops up. I have no idea what this means really, but uh, what it does, it defines the unit of distance between the lines of your grid on a certain axis. So let's hit OK to test it. Boom. And this is what it does. So the one means this unit here. This is one. If you want uh, only half of it, you type in uh, 0.5. And if you want only a tenth of it, you point in, uh, type in 0.1. So I want only a tenth of it now. So let's do another one really quickly. Uh, I typed over the word. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's do another one. So this is going to be the Y axis. Like this. Make sure you deselect the first path. Uh, hit create. We are going to type in this time 0 0.1, hit OK. And boom, magic. It's awesome. So as you can see here, this is uh, totally automated and uh, it just draws in this whole grid by itself. You just have to define two paths for it. So once you did this, uh, you also have an option to rename and color the grid. So you go to rename, you check in the little radio button here, the Y axis and hit done. What this does, uh, it colors. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube. I'm zoomed in, uh, but it colors your grid green and it renames it. So 
uh, it's y parallel. Uh, let's create the z axis here. I mean the x axis here. Really quickly. Uh, create again point one. Okay, and okay. It works a bit slower this time. This is going to be the X. You just hit rename again, X, it's red, done. This is colored red. I hope you can see it. Uh, okay, let's go and let's go ahead and define the Z axis. Hit create, 0 0.1, and it just does it by itself. Awesome job, Sergey. This is some great stuff, man. Rename it, uh, Z, blue, okay, and Maybe you can't see it, or if you want it stronger, this uh, tool, what it does, it lowers your opacity to 30%. So you might want to up these to 100%, group the layers and just lower it as you like. Like this. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you. And uh, yeah, you can just... Uh, use a looser grid if you want to sketch something it's really useful uh, you can also let's just hide this you can also do something like this uh, you create a point let's say you want to do a one point perspective you create a point here and you hit create and again the frequency modifier can be uh, like let's say 0.5 okay and it's done you can uh, also create like a point up here create 0.5 okay it does it like this so I think you get the idea behind it so again once you extracted uh, your perspective from a photo or an image or anything uh, you can just really easily draw in your own structures in the right perspective over this perspective uh, grid so let's draw a box here really quickly in this perspective and uh, as you can see this box is uh, going to match the perspective here and you can just add small structures to the structures you already have here or cut away from uh, the structures or yeah just play around with it these are the basics of it i just recently found out about it but i think it's really really useful so i i hope you like it um, the download link is down below in the description and uh, let me know how it works. So, bye bye.